Have you ever thought that it would have been better if Samsung made their own operating system instead of using Android? I mean, Samsung is a company that's known to always do its own things. They have their own voice assistant, their own internet browser, and they even made their own app store. Having its own operating system would definitely give Samsung lots of advantages. With its own operating system, Samsung could differentiate itself more distinctively from other Android-based smartphone manufacturers. While Samsung's One UI is based on Android, it has been tailored to provide a more seamless and responsive experience. If Samsung were to develop its own operating system, it could potentially optimize it even further for their hardware. A Samsung-specific OS could be designed specifically to leverage the capabilities of Samsung's hardware. But why can't Samsung just make its own operating system? What most people don't know is that Samsung originally developed its own operating system in 2010 to avoid being overly dependent on third-party operating system providers like Google's Android. This is Samsung Wave, the first smartphone in the world to be powered by Samsung's own operating system, Bada OS, a premium looking device with a meta body. This was launched the same year as the Samsung Galaxy S1. Bada OS provided a simple, quick experience with a responsive user interface. But why was this OS discontinued? However, there were several reasons why Samsung eventually ditched their operating system for Android in their smartphones. The first Android phone was released in 2008, the HTC Dream. Before 2010, when Bada OS was released, Android had a huge app ecosystem with lots of apps available on the Google Play Store for consumers. The majority of developers built apps for Android and iOS, giving their large user bases. Bada OS, which was less popular, struggles to attract developer support because it offers a smaller audience and potentially less profits. So Samsung's attempts with Bada OS couldn't match Android's appeal for developers. Many users expect access to Google services like Gmail, YouTube, Maps, Google Drive, which are integrated deeply into Android but not as readily available on Bada OS. Apple released the App Store in 2008 and Android introduced the Play Store the same year. Android and iOS were already widely adopted and popular by the time Samsung attempted to gain traction with its OS. So as Android grew to dominate the smartphone market and Samsung S-Series started to take off, Samsung saw more value in focusing on its hardware and user experience while still adding its own customization like the One UI to differentiate itself within the Android ecosystem. But Samsung didn't give up there. They tried again in 2015 by developing Tizen OS, which was launched with Samsung Z1. The operating system also failed because of these reasons. However, Samsung does continue using Tizen OS in its other devices, such as smartwatches and smart TVs, where competition with Android and iOS isn't as intense, and where they have more control over the user experience. However, for smartphones, the advantages of Android's ecosystem were simply too significant to ignore. So, creating a new successful OS would hinge on gaining sufficient developers and consumers adoption. The fact that Samsung's OS can't even catch up after two years of the launch of Android makes it so difficult to develop an operating system that would gain traction now that it's even more than 16 years since the release of the first Android phone.